it with music, beautiful music. Hello, I'm Fred Miller, and this is yet another one of my lectures in song. And before we talk about the cowboy in the Old West, a little bit about me, which actually has something to do with the Old West or the New West, however you want to call it. I was born in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Had a wonderful classical piano teacher, and uh, that went on right till my 13th birthday. The Beatles arrived, and then my musical horizons expanded to include not just classical music, but the great rock songs of the 60s as well. And that went on through high school until the summer after I graduated. I hitched with a friend from New Mexico to the Woodstock Festival, and I'm even in the poster there. Uh, but that was it for rock music. I was due to go to college that fall, went briefly, then left... Went around the country, finally ended up in Greenwich Village, and at some point somebody gave me an album of Ella Fitzgerald singing Cole Porter, and here I am. The world of Gershwin, Porter, Kern, Rogers, Berlin, Fred Astaire, Judy Garland, Ethel Merman, Frank Sinatra, Bing Crosby, the whole wonderful world of American popular song. And I came up with the concept of a lecture and song, each one being a profile of a great personality or some aspect of American popular song. Started with six programs, and now to date I have 75 different lectures and song, each one described in detail at fredmillermusic.com. The program at hand is well under the category, I guess we'll call it Places. Uh, it's called Don't Fence Me In, Songs of the Cowboy in the Old West. As I said, I grew up in New Mexico, and our, our, my view every day out the front windows was just as far as you could see. I mean, you might be able to spot some old extinct volcanoes maybe 50 miles away. That's how empty it was at that point still. Uh, clear skies, Albuquerque, was famous for its, uh, I think, most consecutive days of sunshine in the world. But uh, I think most memorably, I think about the, the physical surroundings was the drama of the approaching thunderheads, you know, the storms coming in. I knew it was going to be a storm that afternoon. There's a sense of excitement, anticipation about the weather. And another perk of being a New Mexico kid was we had, believe it or not, electricity. I didn't grow up in a teepee or a lean-to. Uh, we had indoor plumbing and even television. And uh, our after-school host, everybody, every kid in America had an after-school host on television, Ours was a guy on KOB TV named Uncle Dick Bills. He was actually the uncle of Glenn Campbell, and I'm, I'm told that he, Glenn Campbell actually played on some of those programs. I didn't notice at the time. But anyway, here's uh, Uncle Dick's theme song here. <laughs> Run down the trail to Albuquerque, saddlebags all filled with beans and jerky. Handler, K Circle B, TV land for you and me, K Circle B in Albuquerque. My yodeling's, well, not so terrible, <laughs> not so good either. Well, of course, usually the um, uh, Uncle Dib Dick and his, his monologue and his song should be a preview to a, a movie, you know, like by, with Gene Autry or Roy Rogers or Dale Evans and Smiley Burnett, Pat Brady, Nellie Bell, Gabby Hayes, all the Sons of the Pioneers. Oh, I loved them all. I really did. And of course, everybody in across America had the, the glut of TV westerns, you know. Bonanza. He's going to fight with me or Frankie Lane. Rollin', 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 though the streams are swollen, keep those doggies rollin', rahad! Well, add to that part of growing up in New Mexico, add to that the family vacations. I remember going off in my father's two-toned Oldsmobile, and we covered Colorado and Arizona, Wyoming, you know, and uh, I went to summer camp even in Colorado. Uh, New Mexico was not just Albuquerque, but of course famous for Santa Fe and Taos art communities. And um, I, I appreciated the fact that, you know, the, those paintings of Russell and Remington, of course, captured the old, the romantic Old West. And, oh, the films of John Ford. I mean, I think anybody in America was sort of steeped in all this. But I particularly, I grew up around, I recognized those, those scenes in Monument Valley. And, you know, the films like Stagecoach and Fort Apache and She Wore a Yellow Ribbon and, of course, the great, great cowboys like Gary Cooper and Randolph Scott and Joel McRae, you know, Ride the High Country and all. And the songs. This is, the, this is what brings us to this here. You know, these, these are all communicating this vital, really essential part of history to us, American history. Um, 
Some date back to the settlers and the pioneers, and uh, many, of course, are created by Hollywood. There was this whole myth of, of the West and cowboys that you know we, we were sort of all, again, marinated in. These are stories that really, I think, recap, uh, recount a, the most heroic chapter of American history. You know, I mean, it brings it all alive to, for city slickers and dudes like us. You know, and here we are living the good life in the 21st century. But what a beginning, what origins we have, what roots we have. And I hope these songs take you into those paintings and those films and evoke the mystery and the romance and the greatness, really, of the cowboy and the Old West. Um, I'm going to start with two notable, sort of very contrasting sources here. When was the last time, well, I mean, it makes sense, Gene Autry Roy Rogers go together, but when would you throw in Cole Porter to, to that mix here? First, Gene Autry. Evening chores are over at our ranch house on the plains, and all I gotta do is lay around. Saddle up my pony and ride off down the trail To watch the evening sun go down Riding down the canyon to watch the sun go down A picture that no artist ever could paint